I lost a bunch of weight. That's been good, you know. There's something that happens when you lose weight that I wasn't prepared for, and that's that people start being way too honest about what you looked like before. <laughs> I had a friend that hadn't seen me in a while, and she was like, did you lose like a thousand pounds? <laughs> I was like, I mean, 15, but good to know you thought I was a medical anomaly before. That's awesome. I love that. But you got to get that revenge bot after a breakup, you know? It's, it's the best revenge. Only for a breakup. No one's like, you killed my father 20 years ago. Check out these sick glutes. But for a breakup, it's pretty good. The world would be a better place if that was everyone's idea of revenge. Like, hear me out. What if Hitler... <laughs> After not getting into art school, it's just like, okay, that's okay, that's okay. I don't know why he's kind of gay. I'm not good at accents. <laughs> if he was like, that's okay, as revenge, I will just burn six million calories. And... <laughs> Look. <laughs> are we going to pretend history didn't happen? Or are we going to acknowledge it and imagine a silly little world where gay Hitler joined Soul Cycle instead? <laughs> Because comedy is healing. Thank you. I recently decided I don't want kids. Uh, yeah, anyone here have kids? You regret it? No. Okay. Were you the one that said hell yeah when I said I don't want kids? You're like save yourself. It's too late for me. But fucking there you go. Okay. I saw a kid in a grocery store recently that made me go nope. I don't think so. I don't. This mom was pushing her kid in the car and the kid pulls her hair and she goes, don't pull my hair. And I swear to God, this kid looked her straight in the face and goes, don't stand up for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, where do you learn that? Don't think about it too hard, that's where it gets sad. Um, <laughs> she was like, girls don't like it when you pull their hair. I was like, I mean, don't lie to him. They. <laughs> love that shit. Um, really, my main goal in life right now is just to get some big, thick tits. That's all I want. My friend Keith doesn't think I should get them. He was like, they're not going to make you happy. You're just going to be sad with big, thick tits. I was like, yeah, probably, but they'll catch my tears, you know? All some big old tear catchers. They'll glisten down my bosom. It'll be awesome. I can't wait. He was like, don't get them. My other friend jumps in and was like, um, she's not getting them for you, okay? She's getting them for herself. And I was like, yeah, no, I'm not. <laughs> I am not. I have back problems already. If I was getting them for myself, I'd get some back tits, straighten out my posture a little bit. <laughs> Just pull those shoulders back. It's revolutionized posture correction. Now the nerdy girl in high school with the back brace is the awesome girl with two extra boobs. Let's do it. <laughs> It's not sexy for some reason. They have to be on your chest. I don't know. <laughs> Boobs are weird. We're told more is better, but only when it comes to volume, not quantity. Why? I want three titties. I'm saving up for a fourth, because once you get one, it's addicting. You know, they're like tattoos. I want six, like udders. <laughs> Which is like one dude on each nipple. You know? Like the little pigs they are. Just... <laughs> Sorry, I'm going through a breakup. Um, <laughs> I am going through a breakup. It's been good. You should all do it. You should all break up. It's a good time. You'll be a whole new person. It's like a defibrillator for your life, you know? Just wakey, wakey, bitch. No one loves you. Go figure out why. <laughs> I'm meditating. I'm exercising. I've never done any of that shit before. It's been great. The problem I had in my, la my last relationship was that I was the hornier one, and that's really hard as a woman, I got to tell you. That's rough. I think we got to stop painting men as like horny monsters because women are told our entire lives like men will fuck anything, anywhere, anytime. They'll fuck you, you, a chair, a trash can. They don't care. So the first time your boyfriend's like, I'm kind of tired. You're like, am I not at least a trash can? Did you fuck the trash can while I was gone? It's not fair to you guys either. You guys shouldn't be expected to bone her up on command. That's not fair, you know? But we're told you should always be able to, so we're like entitled housewives now. We're like, Alexa, get hard! <laughs> I don't know, it's a human body part, not a robot part. Sometimes my leg falls asleep, you know? I'm not like, fuck, this never happens. <laughs> I'm 
must be because you're here. <laughs> Not gay, I swear. I don't know. And my dad, growing up, he was like, be careful, Nicole. Men only want one thing. Stay away. They only want one thing. So when I got into a relationship, I was like, this is going to be easy. They only want one thing, you know? <laughs> but they want lots of things. They want, like, support and shit. It sucks. <laughs> I thought I could smooth everything over with sex. I was like, I'm sorry I said your band sucks, but you know what else sucks? Me, let's go, problem solved. <laughs> He's like, get away from me, you made my penis sad, <laughs> you fucking bitch. <laughs> so what's left? Take accountability, boo, who wants to do that? I'd rather you just hit me, I just. See, women, we think that we want a man who talks about feelings. Turns out we just want a man that talks about our feelings. I'm, uh... <laughs> All right. <laughs> the first guy I ever thought I was in love with, his name was Kyle. I went to high school with him, and I was like, I'm finally going to tell him that I love him, and he's going to shut my mouth up with his mouth and be like, I've always loved you, too, you know? But instead he was like, oh, sorry, I'm already fucking Natasha. I panicked and I didn't know what to say and I just went, oh shit, me too. <laughs> which is why, by the way, people think I'm quiet when I'm off stage. They're, they always say that. You're like, you're so quiet, which I fucking hate. You know, rude. I don't like look at a loud person and go, wow, you never shut up, do you? But <laughs> it's not that I'm quiet. It's that I have to wait till like my fourth thought until I say it out loud. Because my first thought is always retarded, you know? <laughs> My second thought is, wow, that was retarded. And then my third thought is, I should probably stop using that word no matter how accurate it is. <laughs> and then my fourth thought I can say out loud, and then the conversation's moved on. I'm not quiet. <laughs> then a guy dumped me because I didn't believe in God, which, you know, is fair, you know? He was like, how would we raise our children? And I was like, I didn't even think about that. The only way I could even think to raise them would be from the dead because I'd abort it. So... <laughs> I don't want kids, I really don't. <laughs> My friend Ray is much older than me. He was like, I feel sorry for you, you know, if you never have kids, you'll never know real love. And I was like, I knew I wasn't gonna know that, that's fine. That's <laughs> but I guess he's like, oh, I thought I knew love, but now I have kids and now my wife, she's just okay, you know? I was like, I definitely don't want kids. I don't want my boyfriend loving that little bitch more than me, no thanks. <laughs> I'm a jealous girlfriend. She'll walk in, he'll be like, hi, princess. And I'll be like, slut. <laughs> Can't be doing that as a mom. I, uh, I don't know. I've been getting back out there after my breakup. It takes me a long time to get over someone, I realized. And everyone has the same dumb advice, which is what? There you go. Yep. Got a hole in your heart. Put a dick in it. <laughs> Plug it up. Plug it up with a big old dick. I've been doing it, it's been good. My friend wants me to be careful. She said that her friend got diagnosed with super gonorrhea. Yeah. That's a, that's a medical term. I was like, it sounds like your friend got diagnosed by two kids in a doctor trench coat. I'm just like, oh, you super gonorrhea, yeah, gross. Anyway, I gotta get back to doing doctor stuff. Uh, <laughs> Guy next door has ultra mega cancer, really sad. <laughs> I had a one night stand with a Brazilian man from Brazil. I don't know where else he'd be from. Uh, <laughs> he whispered a bunch of hot shit in my ear in Portuguese. That was cool. I don't think it was as hot for him though, because imagine being super in the moment and being like, oh fuck, oh yeah. And then every 10 seconds, someone's like, what does that mean? <laughs> that sounds hot. <laughs> I love dirty talk though, I really love it. A lot of guys don't like it because you gotta take big swings to be good at it and sometimes it's just a swing and a miss, you know? I told this one guy that I like the kind of porn that starts in like a dungeon or a basement. So he went all out with it. He was like, yeah, you're gonna stay down here forever. <laughs> forever. <laughs> you're never gonna see your family again. <laughs> I was like, oh no! I like this. 
I don't know if it was the being captured part or the never having to see my family again part, but I came so hard. Thank you guys. I'm Nicole McCann. You guys have been so much fun. You're watching Jam in the Van Comedy, and we couldn't keep it heady without your support. So make sure to hit that like button, share this video with your friends, subscribe, and hit the bell to change your preferences to notify all. Join us for a show via the link in the description, and thanks for supporting live comedy.